Hello, I'm Congressman Tom Price, and I represent the 6th District of Georgia and have the pleasure of chairing the Republican Study Committee in this Congress. Tonight, the President comes into American living rooms with yet another primetime press conference to sell his unpopular policies. Now, as the President has stepped up his pitch for a government takeover of health care, public support has plummeted. So he's begun to adopt a new desperate strategy, laying blame. Rather than displaying some personal responsibility, he's engaged in a concerted effort to cast blame on Republicans and special interests for his health care bill hitting the wall. But in reality, it's his own party, listening to the voices of the American people who are standing in the way. In fact, scrolling at the bottom of this screen is a list of Democrats in Congress who have publicly expressed concern about the President's plan. It's really quite amazing that the White House would put up Republicans as the straw man for the bill's slowing momentum. Democrats hold a 77-seat majority in the House and a filibuster-proof majority in the Senate. Truth be told, they could enact any legislation they want, with or without Republican help. The only thing getting in the way of the president's bill itself is the bill itself. The more people know about it, the more they dislike it. But this type of behavior has become typical from the president. Before Republicans were the boogeymen, it was special interests that the president said were delaying health care reform. Interestingly, his claims weren't stopped by the fact that he's been holding photo ops with pharmaceutical industry and hospital groups and physician groups and the Nurses Association. Even insurance companies are running ads in favor of reform. He's even got the special interests taking private meetings at the White House. But still, he casts blame. This is nothing more than old-fashioned cop-out. If the president really wants to enact health care reform, he should be doing a little more listening and a lot less complaining. The American people are speaking out in a clear voice, and they're saying, we don't want this government takeover of our health care. The president's plan to put a bureaucrat in between you and your doctor is fatally flawed. And Americans of every single political persuasion understand that. They understand that the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office has said that his plan will increase, not lower, health care costs. They understand that millions of Americans who like their current coverage will lose it under the president's plan. They understand that patients and their doctors not Washington bureaucrats, should be making health care decisions. They've told the president that they want reform, but reform that empowers patients, not government. It's time for the president to scrap his government takeover idea and finally work toward bipartisan reform that will ensure America maintains the highest quality health care in the world. With Americans looking for solutions, playing the blame game just won't cut it. Now, it's important that all Americans understand what's at stake. And as we fight for positive reform of the system, I hope that you'll join us, regardless of your party, to put health care power right where it belongs, in the hands of patients. Thank you so much.